Hello everyone. So I don't know if it's been maybe lack of sleep, a little bit of my diet, stress, hormones, really what's been going on, but my face has gone on like no bueno mode. I don't know if you can see all this, like my camera might not be picking all of it up, but this is not a good situation. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to go ahead and show you how I cover up my blemishes. So go ahead and stay tuned and I'll go ahead and show you how I take care of my damage that has been going on on the face right here. Thanks. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is my Bobbi Brown corrector and I am in the shade Porcelain Bisque. So now that that's pretty much covered up, what I like to do is use a little bit of this Revlon Color Stay um, 24 hour foundation and I am in the shade 110 Ivory. And I like to mix this just a little bit of the Manic Panic um, Vegan Flawless Color and this is actually in the shade Virgin. Um, it's pretty much just like the whitest white that you're gonna get on the market. And I like to mix them because I'm a little still, I don't know if you can see, I'm just a little bit too light still for this foundation here. So by adding in a little bit of this Manic Panic Virgin Color, it just gives me more of the color that I want for my face. And I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand. And it looks a little bit light right now. But once it's all kind of blended out, you'll see it'll match like my really pale neck here. But I do, since my neck is kind of more of a neutral color, I try to, and my face is obviously very pink, I try to go ahead and neutralize my pinkness just a little bit with a little bit of more of a yellow coloring. So I went ahead and I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge, I, this is just a little Sephora one I got, and I'm going to dip it into some of that excess, kind of soak it all up. Now I'm just going to blend away. So as you can see, it's just kind of evened it out a little bit more with my face and my neck area so they're a little bit more cohesive. Now um, you never want to cake up on your actual foundation because that's just going to make you look cakey and gross and you'll tend to get like creasy throughout the day like from smiling and around your laugh lines. Even if like you're 16 years old and have never seen a crow's foot in your life, it's probably gonna end up like, you know, getting in some creases at least at some point in the day unless you are like touching up constantly. So what you wanna do is stay kind of light on your foundation because really what's gonna do the work is your concealer. So, and again, you don't wanna go overboard on any of this. You just kind of wanna cover the area and then um, kind of disperse the color. I don't know if that makes any sense, but what, you know, hopefully by watching, you're actually gonna see what I'm talking about. So the concealer that I am currently loving using is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer and I am in the shade NW15. And this is more of, even though I'm a cool toned individual, um, I tend to use the more like darker kind of yellowy bases versus like the pinky shades or the really bright cool colors because I want to make the blemish kind of push back because if you use like lighter concealers on it like you know a lot of people kind of use lighter concealers under their eyes that's all great and dandy for like highlighting but if you use those light concealers under or on your blemishes as well it's gonna make them stand out and nobody wants that so you tend to want to go for the exact same color of your skin maybe even a shade darker as long as it's really well blended so I dip my finger in it just a little bit and I then concentrated kind of on the area that really kind of needs some concealing going on there. And you want to do like light, 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 light layers. You do not want to go heavy handed because it's so hard to try to get all that off without getting like that really cakey look and it's just not attractive. But hey, if you like cakey, then do it. So as you can see, they're covering up. I'm okay with this. I would totally walk outside with just these like little bit of pink popping through and it wouldn't bother me at all. But for the people who it would bother, um, what you can do is take like a small brush. So I'm going to dip that in there, get a little bit of product on my brush, as you can see right there. And I'm then going to just tap like that area. And I'm going to tap the areas first since it already has a lot of concealer on it. 
and then from there I'm just going to kind of blend. And the the key to doing this is you don't want to like once you've touched it, you don't want to just kind of like blend like over the bump. You want to touch. I guess I shouldn't say bump because that's really gross. But um, as long as it's not an active blemish, I guess I should put that in there too. If it's not an active blemish, go ahead and touch it on there and then, you know, um, feather the edges out. But you want to keep like the concentration of the concealer color actually on the bump itself. And then you kind of feather out the edges so this way it kind of seamlessly blends out. Okay. Now essentially that all the bumps that I really notice are kind of covered. Um, I'm doing a second glance and I mean realistically there's nothing on my face right now that makes me go oh my gosh except for a little bit of these under eye circles still. I did correct them but now I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer and I'm going to work my concealer just to kind of even everything out. Okay so I don't know if you can tell but my blemishes are like 99% covered up here. And I still do have like a couple like little freckles and things like that are still on my face. I don't mind that. I actually like the look of my natural skin. I just like to hide the giant imperfections, but I don't mind the smaller ones. I kind of feel like that gives everybody's face a little bit of character and you should really embrace like your imperfections because they make you unique and beautiful and natural. So if you go ahead and give me a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So this is my makeup all finished. And as you can see, you can't really see any of the blemishes that are coming through, even like those two like really big crazy ones that were totally chilling here on the side of my face. Um, and if you really actually wanna see kinda how I did this makeup look, uh, I will leave a link in the description box down below. And to be honest, I may go ahead and just do a little snippet of it actually at the very end um, once I finish rambling on here to you. But, this is kind of how I cover up all of my blemishes. So if you would, please give this video a like, a thumbs up, share, and please subscribe it. And I will see you lovelies later. Bye.